Okay, I'm going to show you a cool trick how to take MIDI data out of a track. I would use a proper track, but because of AdSense and not really allowed, so I'm going to use a royalty free loop. So here it is. It's by a failure. <laughs> work this out on piano normally or piano roll it's not too difficult but for more complex things it is so we'll open up Melodyne as an insert on our audio track we'll then click transfer and then press play wait for it to load the data in so it actually shows you what all the notes are um, you can copy it all in like this but it will take ages so this is the easier way you go to settings and then go to save as MIDI and we'll save it to desktop and just call it PHA failure we'll save it You can go to the place it's saved and then you can just drag it straight into your range window. It will be MIDI data so it will be needed to in be inputted into a um, instrument track. So we'll solo it. glitching out yeah the attack and release time is a bit long because you might need um something a bit sharper or you can have it like that if you want depends what you're going for and then it's just a case of working out um which is the bottom bits uh, the bottom bits are usually the bass and the top bits are usually the lead. If you open it up, you can tell, um, and then you can copy that MIDI data into another synth. So you could have the low bass line as an actual bass, and then you could have the higher bits as a violin or whatever track you want. But yeah, it's a cool trick. Use it.